So the sump's off so that we can work out where and how much clearance we need for that rack. And we've got the starter motor sitting in there that's adjustable so we can work out where that's going to go. But check out the fruit in there. That's quite amazing. The quality and workmanship in this John Case. Big block, all aluminium. It's a pleasure to work on something like that. So we're down to the tin tacks now. We're going to make starters fit, steering arms. From that sump up, get it all fitting and we're playing around up there with the electrical as well. Lots of cut and shut going on here today, well, the last two days really. So we're down to that final stage where everything's got to fit and obviously the rack and doesn't fit and the sump's just a little bit too low. So let's head to chop. And then Luke's back again today. Hello Luke. Yeah, mate. So we're now doing the old cardboard design again to get this hole here filled up with a box. So Darren's just out bending that up now. So we've been messing about with that for a good hour or so to make sure that we've got clearance for the tyre. Make it work how we want. So there's the cardboard design. Now he's down here somewhere trying to turn that into something that looks like it in steel. So there he is here. Morning Darren. Howdy. Afternoon. So, so we've now made a template of that, so now he's going to mark that out and we'll fold that up and start filling up the hole. So the deblasting blasting is a bit slower than the, the garnet, but it tends to leave a nicer finish. It doesn't sort of a... Not as abrasive. So what I like about that is it, it sort of leaves... When these come out of the like genuine, they had like a pattern in them from when they were cast. When you do the glass bead, it tends to keep that pattern in it. So they'll get um, just cleaned off with a bit of air now and, and sprayed with some high temp VHT clear, satin clear, just so they don't corrode. So these are the van parts, so whilst we're trying not to finish doing anything on the van, Darren was doing his own at lunchtime, so I chucked these under his nose as well. So they were just original, looking a bit scruffy. And then this is a, a bead, like a glass bead, which almost makes them um, a little bit polished. Okay, so the plan now is to seal them up. This is a, PPG Vibrance Epoxy Urethane and then we'll use the SEM sealer to actually seal those joints up. We plan to make it look as factory as possible and then they'll get one more rub, a little bit of filler wear required in your repairs and then they'll be ready waiting to do the paint. So this skin's had the, this, sorry, this boot lid's had the skin off it and now back on so all that's painted inside as well with the epoxy. So this is on the coupe. Um, as I said last week we're trying to get it out of here. So we've done a bit of repairs in here and replaced the inner. Um, I don't have any video of that because it was all done before this video caper started. So we're sealing this all up with the SEM. It's only a product that I haven't been using that long but it's gone in really nice and reminds me a lot of the old um, drip check that we used to use. 
So we sort of seal up most of it. Obviously you need to get a bit of, bit of air. And if there's any moisture in there, ability for that to get out. And that sort of gives it almost a, a factory look, but a bit cleaner. And then obviously prep sold a, prep sold on a rag. And try not to leave too much of it laying around. So that'll look good. I'll give that another coat of epoxy and that'll seal it up real good. So in the drip gutters, we like to just put enough in that obviously seals that join. So the, the turret meets the, the drip gutter, which is then spot welded from the factory. And this one hasn't been off. It's a very clean car, this one. i just try and squeeze that in there. And we like to try and not have too much build so that when it paints, when you paint, you don't end up with it all peeling back on you later, 10 years time. Once you get it in there, now you know, I'll use a digit to squeeze that in. Because I've got the camera on, you can bet it won't go in nice, but... And then you want to have a nice clean rag and plenty of prep stock. So once it's in, we're then going to take all the residue back out with the prep sole. So we normally work with a whole lot of music going, so it's really weird to turn the music off to make these videos for you. And then be working in the silence. Sounds like a bloody morgue. So this has had a good coat of the um, PPG Vibrance Epoxy Urethane Primer. So once this is all in, then I'll give this a full rub again. This roof was pretty good. I did flip it up a bit here and there, but um, It'll probably just get a coat of high build primer, I would think. So you can see there, he's got 90% of that out now and just leaves a nice, clean finish. Very quiet again. Righto, so that looks pretty good in there. So that's enough room on the other side for the electrics. And then on full lock we've still got some room. Probably 20 mil there. So then will let Luke move forward now. Amazing what a few inches of rain will do. Good backup rains the last um few weeks. That looking pretty slick. Hi all, just doing a wrap up for the week. Um, been a fairly big week. I said last week we we're going to have a clean up. Check out the workshop. How good is that looking? So amazing different a week makes. But um, we've been trying to clear some gear out of here and then out of the blue I ended up doing an interview with a film company on Sunday, yesterday, um, that are shooting a feature film and it's all about Fords and Holdens and stuff so that was really cool but the upside was made me work even harder on the clean up and then put a few bits on the car. You can see here we haven't videoed the wheels before. Um, so they're a, a, a shoot wheel from the US and they're a 20 by 12 with a 335. So, and that's about the right height by memory, um, where they'll sit. And there's no brake because they're inboard brakes. So that'll be what, you'll actually see the coilovers through there with the springs and stuff. Um, pretty cool looking thing. So, been a lot going on. You can see the sump there. I'm just about to get that organised to go out. Um, we're going to make a piece up. So we had to chop that thing up to clear the rack. And also, it was a bit low. So we, we chopped 30 mil off. So this bit here was taking this much off the bottom so 
we'll just make some provision for some more oil and that now will be fitted and another thing sorted and then what else have I been doing so out the back got a couple more bonnets to clear out of here um, yeah it doesn't stop Darren decided the other day he'd do his alternator for his car because he's putting the standard motor back in it which is on my page so you can have a look at that um, so I chuck the van one in because I'm trying to get all that stuff back in the cupboard so you can see here these have been bead blasted in our little blaster that's behind me and this morning before Josh got here I actually give him a coat of VHT so that's um, blasted with um, a very light glass bead and that brings them up looking like original and then I normally spray them with the VHT flame proof satin clear and what that does is it protects them, stops them corroding and going off, but they still look original. And then I showed before, I think really early on, the CAD plating that come back for it. And then I've had the other bits tested, they're all good. So that'll give me the full original 1977 alternator. And because I'm not running any electric pumps or anything, or thermos, it'll be fine. It'll be have plenty enough charge. Righto, so electrical just keeps going, um, but we're making progress. So this is now pretty much mounted and we've made up the box that I've now got to make out of steel so um, my, my aim has been to get this so I can position it 100% correct for loop and then on the other side um, you'll see in the video where we've been making the box to go underneath um, that's all clecoed in place now so Luke's back tomorrow he'll be able to finish the wiring on this side that tidies that up